Saturday morning and we have rain. You can see the oversight is just like full of wall there. Didn't really leave any holes out to brush it out this time, but um, obviously we should have done. Um, so now finishing off. Um, so we've done the taper. Uh, same shape or same profile, I should say, as the dodecahedron that we did. So everything's the same apart from um, when we used this template last time, we had all these nails in here and we were moving each one round as it twisted round. This one is all common work because obviously, as we said before, it's going to get rendered. Um, but we've got a section just down there that we've put in the capable hands of um, Jake and George. So they're bringing up just a little bit of face work to seen from the outside. And just at this height here, that's the height we're aiming for because that's when the metal uh, ring goes on. Well, it's an octagon really, but and that's what the all the rafters are going to sit off um, for the floor bit on the inside of the building and the outside area, which is through the Hessian there. You won't be able to see it very well, but it's a little lake that's been built, uh, dug for it. So the thatch goes over that patio area by the lake. So you can see the flues coming up with the widths inside. Um, everything's like tapered. We have our taper boards fixed to the little levels. Um, because when we're further down and the lines are further apart, um, that was just like an, an intermediate, just to put on the walls like so obviously keep them plumb but as we've come up so far now the lines are so close together you don't really need these and um, because you can just iron between the lines really but further down obviously just to save any lumps and bumps we use these batter boards on our 600 levels so um once we get to this height and put the beam on uh, which is another story in itself because we've got to figure a way of getting that up but at the moment It's just up in the grass there So the forks have just put um, a load of crush down So hopefully Tuesday we're gonna say it's gonna be ready He's gonna try and get in there and we're gonna take the ladder out of the way We're gonna try and get it through this space here on the diagonal because it is very very um tight but it was last time but i think this time um the standards on the scaffold are a little bit closer together so um we might have to come in through the top if the forks can um reach and then just lift it down onto here once we're on here obviously we'll allow for thatch uh, and then we're gonna have face work going right up to where our canopy is let's just keep this dry at the moment and um, that should be quite um, a nice stack. We've got an idea of what to do, so um, we we'll just have to keep posted to see what we do on that. All right, for now, I'm going to make my way down and uh, dry out as I drive them. But before I go home, I just want to have a quick little look at the first lift. Kind of like getting dripped on down here. But it's still fun to do in a better like radius of tapering. Uh, tapering. It's quite enjoyable. I don't really think you appreciate the taper on it through a lens. But yeah, that is tapering just the same as what the other one did. And if we come right down to ground floor. Obviously we did it nine inch on the ground floor. Um, so the perps are a little bit bigger, obviously. And then we have the nice little arch, which will get rendered. This will all be rendered and then Bill will come in and uh, parjet his face uh, on there. And this is the outdoor area. 
this all still needs a little bit of tidying up but um i think george and jake done a lovely little job on this arch just a little bit of tidying up obviously needs doing uh, and obviously a little bit of brickwork still on the inside to do but a little three centered arch on a curved wall so i think the lads did well on that it's very nice and they're uh, continuing going up like so two promising young lads <laughs> 